Yo, what's going on guys? Bobby here and today we got another dope video for you guys. So I haven't recorded in three, four days. Um, I've been super busy with the second wave of qualifiers for the world championships. We're in the second month. So we had qualifiers on February for the April LAN event and we have the results in now. It's been a few days. Um, I don't know if any of you guys watched OG's video or not, but sorry to spoil. We did take home the dub, and we will be representing NA in Poland. We won the one spot. Myself, Cryman, Jack, and OG will be representing Space Station at the LAN event in Poland in a, pro in a little bit less than two months, about six weeks time. So what we're going to be doing is showing you guys replays of the final, showing you guys what happened. So without further ado, let's head into it and let's show you guys what happened. So here we go into the first game. We played on layer, or sorry, on Canal Grande. Now there are two bands, obviously one per team. So our team decided to ban Sandy throughout the whole set, and their team decided to ban Mr. P. Um, so obviously, Bounty, a map where I can Gene. I'm going to go Gene. Chepo's going to sit out for this match. Um, I'm so strong. Five, who is Crying Man, is going to go Brock, and OG's going to be rocking the tick. So OG's doing a pretty good job on that right side over there. I'm over there rocking the left. Um, we're trying to figure thing, things out. They all went on the right side. Um, now they do have a Piper, so we can get tapped really easily. Crying Man does end up getting a kill on Jigsaw over there. So we do take the one star lead at this point. So now we're kind of just tapping, uh, trying to charge our supers, myself and OG. Crying Man's going to break that right side wall. So they can't push up on the right side without us knowing exactly where they are. And now it's just kind of us chipping, doing as much damage as we can. I'm just over here trying to get my super without really getting hit too much by anybody. If you get hit by, by the Piper, it's kind of okay. But the other two, you really don't want to charge their supers. So I'm doing a pretty good job um, just tapping and not getting hit. Same with the rest of my team. RC goes to one shot. We're not going to be able to get the kill. I'm super close to my super. OG is going to be able to get his. Crying's doing a great job as Brock. He's able to get a super there, and they actually all clump up, and Crying's going to get a really, really good super off. He's going to be able to kill um, their Piper. We're going to be able to kill RC over there, and it is currently 6-1. to one. They're spinning a little bit, and we're doing a pretty good job. So Crying gets another kill over there. He's got 5 stars. Um, I'm still getting my super at this point. 25-ish seconds left in the game. I'm finally going to get my super around here. Um, crying is going to go for the kill on the tick or the B. Sorry, he's not going to be able to get it. OG gets into a 1v1 here. He's going to go down. I get my super, going to pull the Piper, going to be able to get that kill. Um, and now we're going to back off. It's a four star game. So, although we kind of we, we kind of we pretty safely have the dub, don't want to take any risks. Going to get our C to one shot. I'm so strong. Five slash crying man's going to be able to get the kill, and we're going to win the first game 12 to 4. So, this game wasn't really close. We kind of had it throughout the entirety of the game. Their strategy was to go down one lane. That would have been decent if we didn't have a tick, but unfortunately for them, we did have a tick. So, we were able to get the double we'll top into the second game on Canal Grande and see what happens. So, now on to the second game, and we're going to be going up against a Gene, a Piper, and a Tick. So I'm going to go on the right side again with Crying Man, and OG's going to get his own lane. They decide not to double up, so me and Crying are going to be a little bit more aggressive when it comes to targeting their Gene over here. Um, playing really aggro over here. I'm almost able to get my super. I'm one shot off, but I do get put to one shot because of RC. I'm able to escape death, um, but we are backed up at this point, losing by one. So I'm close to my super. Almost able to get it a couple ticks away. I'm so strong, it's a good tap over there. We're kind of backed up. Uh, Jink does have his super. He is going to hit it on OG, but OG is actually going to be able to get the kill. Really good kill by him. That's going to allow us to kind of move up that right side a little bit. Um, so I'm going to move up that right as much as I can. Jigsaw's over here kind of just lurking. I'm going to be backed up, unfortunately, due to the tick spam and the gene shots. Really good jukes over here by crying to not go down and to get the Piper to one shot. But we're still unfortunately backed up because of their spam. Can't do much about it. Um, so we're kind of just chilling over here. I get tapped by the Piper, so I got to move back into a safer position. And I'm pretty low trying to regain HP. And they're really moving down that left side really, really hard. Um, so we decide that someone has to move up the right. So I kind of juke my way up this right side and make my way into the bushes. So we're all not backed up. I'm juking my way in there. Crying Man is pretty backed up into that corner. All Jake has to do is continuously wear him down. I'm going to be able to get a pull on their Piper over there. Jigsaw is still trying to tap um, the Brock, and they're kind of just going back and forth. Currently, 4 to 1 is the score. I'm able to pick up my Super again. I was going to go for a pull, but Jigsaw gets on my lane over here. RC kind of corners um, Crying Man over here. He's going to be able to get the kill. 
Jigsaw's right here. We're both going to pull at the same time. and We're actually going to kill each other. It's only a one star game. So we're going for kills over here. Not able to get anything. We're back into a corner. Two seconds left. One second left. And although we are super, super low, we are able to take the dub on Canal Grande and take the one to nothing lead in sets. So it's the first one to win three sets is going to win the entirety of the match. Um, we do take the first one, so we're gonna hop into the second one here. Our team is four players. We do take turns subbing in and out. So the next game is my turn to sub. So it's in, instead of it being from the replays, it's gonna be OG's recorded version of it. He sent it to me via Google. So anyways, let's hop into the Siege games and show you guys what happened. Okay, so here we go into the Siege games. It's gonna be Jack, OG, and Crying against uh, the exact same three. So this is the comp we decided to go with. Um, we wanted to use a barley because we knew they were going to run some form of tanky comp. So we decided to go with a barley to constantly get super. Then we have Jack on Gene. Jack, you guys know, is a very, very good Gene. And then we have Crying on Darrow. So OG's doing a pretty good job so far, kind of just chipping away. Same with Jack and Crying. They do have a max, which does counter OG a little bit, but he's doing a pretty good job at keeping his distance. He hasn't gotten his super yet. I'm pretty sure he's one shot away. There we go. He does get it. And we do get a level two siege bot. So score is 2-1 at the moment um og's gonna juke that tick head they're gonna go up and try and do a little bit of damage the score is now 3-1 og's gonna get a super off which is about 14 percent so pretty good and he's gonna back off he is on lane with a tick which barley on tick is not a very good matchup for barley so he's probably going to switch and try and go on somebody else um we do have crying over here on daryl they're like tripling up his lane he's gonna use a super go back Chepo does have super, so we're waiting for Chepo to use super at this point. He's not going to use it. Instead, uh, no, he will use it. They're going to get the kill on Jigsaw over there. Uh, Tickhead is going to be thrown on him. He is going to be able to get the kill, and they're going to be able to kill their Daryl as well. So the bolt lead is uh, five to nothing right now, but it is going to end up being five to three. Um, so they could hold position if they want to. They only have to do 70% though to finish the game. So that's not too bad. Um, Barley Super is going to be used, but they're going to decide not to go all in, which I probably would have went all in just because if they did, they would only need like a Daryl Super or a Barley Super to win the game, but they decided not to. Really good roll over there by Crying, although he does waste that next roll. And it's right now, it's kind of Jig versus uh, Jack over here, but Jack's able to hit a good pull, and that's kind of that's going to secure the game over there. So not enough time for the other team to catch up on gems without position. Obviously, they're going to try and make their way. But nothing that they're going to be able to do. Five seconds left. Four, three, two. We're going to get the final bot for the siege. And we are going to take the victory. So they're going to go up. It's going to be one nothing now in this set. And one nothing in the grand scheme of things for the entire match. And it is looking pretty good so far. So let's hop into the second match and let's show you guys what happened. So here we go on to the next games. It's going to be a triple tank comp for Jigsaw's team. Now this comp is really good. It's something that they do use a lot. We're going to decide to go with the same comp here. And OG is going to do a really good job off the start getting his super in like five seconds. So he's going to use a super right off the bat. And he's just going to get a super right back off of Jigsaw, I believe here. Um, he's doing a really good job. Unfortunately, crying did go down. OG is going to be able to kill RC over there. Jack's going to be able to kill Jigsaw. And it's going to be a 1-1 one -one tie um to start off the game so crying's gonna make a roll over there he's not gonna be able to do anything though unfortunately um og's doing a pretty good job when i mean pretty good job i mean really good job at holding lane um no one's able to go near him and this is why we wanted to use barley because barley does absolutely wreck these triple tank comps you guys see og's gonna walk up with his super and he's gonna hit these hit the ike over there he's gonna do roughly 13 14 percent not exactly sure which one it is it depends on you know, I don't even know what it depends on, but it depends. He's going to do 13% over there. Um, I'm so strong goes for the play. He's not going to be able to get the uh, bolt, though. Really good attempt. Uh, he's actually almost going to be killed, but he's not going to. So it's currently 10 to 4. The thing with triple tank comps is they are fantastic at defense. So it almost would have been better if they lost this bolt so that they can just go all in with one push. Unfortunately, they are going to win it only by two. So it's not crazy, crazy strong. Chepo's going to get that pull over there um which i don't know if that was good or bad because i'm not sure it might have charged the frank super um no it didn't but rose is going to use super og is going to go down and og is majority of the damage that we need um to do so they have a seven bolt lead and we only have a 26 percent lead they only need a couple bolts in order to win this round so this is pretty scary we do have the first couple bolts though chepo does hit a good pull as well but we need to kill jigsaw over there we're not going to be able to 
Uh, crying is going to go down. Chepo is going to be able to get that kill. But I don't think it's going to be enough for us to get the win. Um, it is certainly close, but we're not going to be able to do it. And um, barring some crazy, crazy defenses is going to be a loss for our team. So they are coming down over here. Again, they only have to do so much damage. Crying is going to go in and try and do some damage. Uh, he only does 9%. Crying, or Chepo's going to go for a pull on the bot. He's going to be able to get it, which is going to kill the, um, which is going to kill the Frank. But unfortunately, Daryl Super, Rosa Super, nothing we can do. They're going to do 100% safe damage. That's going to tie up the Siege series at 1-1. One one. So next game is actually really, really important. Let's hop into it and let's show you guys what happened. So going into the next game, we decide to go with the exact same comp again because we like how it worked. We like the control that we had. We just kind of gave up control for a little bit, which allowed them to get eight bolts during the second last uh or during the second siege which allowed them to get control of the game and win it basically so we're gonna go with the same thing they decided not to go with triple tank which is actually a little bit surprising to us maybe they thought that they could uh catch us with us trying to counter them and then they switch to a different comp uh we're gonna be able to win the first siege over here which is a really good start with our comp you can always do a little bit of damage because of the barley so this is a really good start. Hopefully we can get a, a bit of percentage off, such as like 25% or something. Even more, obviously, would be better. Bot's pretty big going in. OG's going to do some damage. So he's going to start chucking his super away. He's going to get a couple shots off on the safe. Probably could have gotten a couple more. He decides to. Crying does go all in. And we do a fantastic amount of damage to start off the game. 21% um, left on the siege from a 2 bot is fantastic especially at the competitive level really good roll over there by their daryl he actually got some extra range chepo does have pull he's going to be able to hit a pull although unfortunately it wasn't really the greatest timing and uh crying is going to go down um og is going to get rolled on there's not much he can do Chepo's going to miss a couple shots but he's going to be able to hit the third one and get the kill then they have a level five siege boss so it's actually really good for us because this is basically nothing we can defend this really easily uh, crying is going to roll on it straight away 50% before it even crosses the halfway point so it is looking really really good good pull over there from Chepo is going to kill the BB and with three seconds left they're going to be able to stop it and it's going to do 0% safe damage so OG is just going to use the super to try and clear them out because it's all we need at this point RC is going to try and get some hits with that BB bubble he's not going to get it the first time up but it's going to hit crying on the way down crying is going to go for that bolt He's going to be able to get it. Chepo's going to hit a good pull over there. And all we need is one or two more bolts to secure the victory. It is looking really close at this point, but really good roll over there. Getting that bolt is going to secure us the win, and that is going to give us the siege set. So we're now up 2-0. It's looking really, really good at this point. Um, and the next map is Hot Potato Heist. I really enjoy that map. We rarely lose it in comp. So let's hop into the next match, and let's show you guys exactly what happened once we just finish this one up right here. So here we go on Hot Potato. We actually scrimmed this team earlier because they are a team that actually wasn't expected to be in the finals. Um, they just wanted to try and get a deep run and they were a decent NA team. We are pretty good friends with so we decided to try and scrim them. Anyways, decent start. Chepo's going to go Rico. I'm going to go Daryl and uh, Crying is going to go Max. Crying is going to go down off the start. Um, but not a terrible start for us. I'm able to get super pretty fast um, compared to their Daryl, I believe, this game. Um... Chepo almost gets a kill over there. He's not going to be able to. I have my super. I decide to super back. Um, I'm able to get the kill over there on defense, and then I'm just going to like kind of soak that tick head. Maybe going on offense could have been the better strategy, but I'm not sure because I feel like we would have gotten destroyed over there. But it is what it is. Uh, we are down to start off this game over here. So I do have my super. I'm going to move up this left side. Uh, Crying's going to defend over here. I know that there is somebody in the middle. Uh, so does crying so crying's gonna do some good work. I'm gonna roll and see if there's anyone in the grass There's not gonna be anyone for me to go for so I'm just gonna go for the safe Chepo's gonna get the fence with crying, but unfortunately they're gonna take this the, the the heist safe really fast because of the bear that they had so that is going to be an L for us in the first game. That was only a minute long game really quick for hot potato hot potato games usually last the whole time but with the max meta on this comp now or on this map now the games go super quick so anyways let's hop into the second game and show you guys what happened so here we go into the next game we decided to switch up our comp a little bit to the comp that they were running except without tick uh we're gonna have a daryl uh nita and max so we're moving forward they're using the same comp they're not gonna run a max comp uh, they didn't think our max was good enough i suppose so jeppo is a really good nita he's gonna go on that nita lane 
on the right side. Um, it should be Nita on Nita because Daryl does get countered by Nita, but we are doing a fairly decent job over here. I'm just going to circle around and kill uh, RC. I could go on defense, but that's not my job, so I'm going to move up while crying or while Chepo defends and kills the tick. I'm going to move up and roll on the safe over here. Going to do some good damage. The Nita Bear gets me pretty low. I'm going to go down, crying, doing some good damage. Chepo is able to kill the, their Daryl over there. So a minute and 50 left in the game, and already both safes are really low. I'm going to get the um, the super from Crying. Crying's going to run right into a tick head, and he's going to go down. Um, I, have a, I get my roll over here, and I'm going to roll up. Somehow this double hits um, their Daryl. I'm not really sure how, to be honest, but it does. I'm going to res I'm gonna have low health on this left side. Crying's going to do as much damage as he can. I'm going to roll in one shot, two shot. And somehow from that distance, I'm able to finish the safe. I thought it would be body blocked, but it didn't end up getting body blocked. And that's going to give us the second game. So it's currently 1-1 one to one in the current set, 2-0 and oh in total set. So if we win this next game, we do win the entirety of the match. And we end up representing NA in Poland in about a month and a half. So let's hop into the next game and let's show you guys what happened. So hopping into the final game, they decide to go with Rico, Nita, and... Um, and Daryl, they decided that their tick wasn't enough, so Jig's gonna go Rico. Jig, by the way, probably was the MVP of this tournament, played really well, and carried his team against the previous winners, Omen Elite. Um, so doing a really good job so far is crying with the mid. I'm kind of just chilling on this right side, trying to get some tick, or uh, some little, like, tick hits, um, to try and get my super a little bit faster than their Daryl. We're both going to get it at around the same time, though. He's going to get his now. I just got mine, and I'm going to move up. Going to be able to kill RC over there. So me and Chepo are going to go on offense over here. Uh, Crying's going to do a good job by focusing Jigsaw instead of the Daryl because he was lower. Um, I'm on the upside over here. Chepo's going to get that hit, and it's pretty even so far. They do have the 2% lead. I'm 91 HP, so I'm going to run to this corner. Somehow Jig misses me over there. He's going to get me to one shot. I pretend to go up. Jig's going to miss me again and then again. So somehow I do end up staying alive. Crying is able to get the kill over there. I have my super. Jig has his. And I supered in at the wrong time because Jig gets a really nice clip on me. He's able to kill me. Safe's really low. Crying taps one over there. He's able to tap Jig. He's able to kill RC as well. And R Crying is going to clutch it. And that is going to give us the championship of NA for the month of February slash representing us in April. So anyways, that's going to be it for today, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this gameplay. We're going to have a really good video tomorrow that I'm super excited to pump out because it's the first time I could pump, I can actually pump out this type of video at a good time. So anyways, let me know if you guys enjoyed what we had today. Um, that's going to be it for today. I've been really hyped um, about this for like the last couple days. It did end on Sunday. Today is Tuesday at the time. Or Wednesday. I don't, I don't really know what day it is. But anyways, I've been super happy the last few days just because of this. We've worked really hard and we've come second a bunch of times as of late. So to actually win one and we actually didn't drop a set for the entirety of the tourney, it actually feels really good. Thank you guys for the support as always. That's going to be it for me today. Sorry this video was a little choppy. Just have to get back into the swing of things. But anyways, I will see you again next time, guys. Thank you guys for supporting. Thank you guys for watching. If you guys enjoyed, hit the like button and make sure to hit the subscribe button. I will catch you guys later. Peace.